Donkey Kong has had a storied history with action figures. And it all began in 1999 with Toy Sight, a company working with Nintendo to release new merchandise and action figures. Under a different name, they released Legend of Zelda figures to coincide with the release of the 1998 Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time video game. At the time, there weren't really any Donkey Kong Country style figures. Toy Sight broke the news and the first look at Series 1 of DK figures at Toy Fair in 1999. Donkey Kong was the only character to be shown in figure form, while the rest of the characters were mock-up drawings. An additional Donkey Kong in a wrestling ring was shown, but nothing would ever come from it. Also shown at Toy Fair were tons of other Nintendo products, but we'll do a full video about the Toy Sight figure company soon. Months after Toy Fair, Donkey Kong Series 1 figure assortment began swinging onto shelves around November 1999. They had a suggested retail price of $6.99. These figures saw the light of day thanks to the popularity of the animated Donkey Kong TV show and Donkey Kong's Nintendo 64 game, which was scheduled for release around the same time. Series 1 included Chess Slammin' Donkey Kong, High Swingin' Donkey Kong, Surfin' Funky Kong, Cranky Kong, Banana Flingin' Diddy Kong, and a deluxe set and Chess Slammin' Donkey Kong with Kitty Kong. This Cranky Kong doesn't have his original walking stick, but I don't have the heart to tell him. These figures look great with character likeness, all pretty much looking like their DK Country Super Nintendo appearances. At Toy Fair 2000, they would show figures of Series 1, which had already been in stores. More interestingly, they showed prototypes of Series 2. These figures included Slappin' Lanky Kong, Hurlin' Chunky Kong, Pineapple Launchin' Tiny Kong, and Leaping Kremlin Critter with Jumping Action. The deluxe figure planned for this assortment was Donkey Kong with a tip in minecart. These figures were scheduled for release before Christmas 2000. Unfortunately, the line was cancelled. The company would go on to produce plush toys for Nintendo for a short while longer, as well as a set of bobbleheads in 2001, but that would be the end of Nintendo's relationship with Toy Sight. What's crazy is around that same time, Toy Biz would enter into an agreement with Nintendo resulting in Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing action figures. Donkey Kong was featured in the Mario Kart 64 series, and Diddy with the Diddy Kong Racing assortment. That would be the end of Donkey Kong's major retail releases, until Jack Specific took over the Nintendo license in 2014. That's all folks, thanks for watching, be sure to find us on eBay for the best deals on new and pre-owned action figures. You can also find us at figurecollections.com for a top-notch toy database of over 32,000 figures. Can I get an amen?